At its height, the Inca Empire commanded a substantial portion of the western part of the South American continent. Your students will be puzzled uh, by the question, how, how does an empire fall to a relatively small invading force? It's important to point out uh, uh, the, the, the cooperation of, of technology and biology. It's very useful to show your students uh, a set of Spanish armor from the 16th century, particularly the steel breastplate and the steel helmet. Because remember, these indigenous nations have weapons that are largely still made of flint. And so steel breastplates and helmets would make those soldiers particularly effective. Yes, it's certainly true that firearms play a role, but steel probably plays a greater role. And an examination of Spanish armor, I think, illustrates that very well. But the other factor that we need to talk about is not technological, but biological. Uh, Europeans bring with them unintentionally uh, European airborne diseases. These are viruses that are spread in the air, particularly measles and smallpox. If you show your students you know, a slide of a smallpox victim, uh, that might be uh, a very useful way to demonstrate just how horrible this disease is. Mortality rates of 70, 80, 90 percent were probably not unusual. What seems to be an issue of technological supremacy is arguably, once you examine the evidence, uh, really an issue of, 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 of biological uh, complexity.